Back to Hawks fans, so over 50. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Share this video with your friends out there. Comment down below on anything you'd like to say or feedback you'd like to give me. And finally, Kansas has won the rubber match with TCU. Three games in 11 days. Kansas improves to 27 and 6. And we'll be moving on to the Big 12 championship game, likely against Texas Tech, unless Oklahoma find some way to upset the, the uh, Red Raiders, but the Red Raiders have a heck of a defense. And Oklahoma, I think, pretty much spent everything they had in that game against Baylor to try to get themselves into the tournament. So Oklahoma's going to want this game bad, but I, I just, I don't, if I was a betting person, I would not, I would not bet on the Sooners to win. I might take the Sooners and the points, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Kansas, again, beats TCU 75-62. Mitch Lightfoot, had an amazing game. Just look right here. You can see a career high, 15 points, two blocks, two steals. I mean, th those are, I mean, the blocks you expect from Mitch Lightfoot, but the steals, you know, that's, that's just, you know, extra. He even, you know, stepped out, hit a three. Um, and I love the little, the little signal he made, you know, he's got some just hilarious facial expressions. So it was just amazing and awesome to see him do that. Um, Jalen, old man lands kind of looked like an old man tonight. Did not really um, have much, by the way, to, you know, put forth other than he missed a shot in this game and just, you know, wasn't very effective. Remy Martin looked good coming off the bench, 10 points. Kansas, only 26 rebounds in this game, but this is one of those games where, you know, they were out rebounded 37 to 26, but it just really kind of didn't matter because Texas Tech shot 47% from the free throw line. They shot only 40% from three, 46% from the floor. But when you miss 11 free throws in a game where you lose 75 to 62, that really changes things. I mean, if TCU hits just, let's say TCU goes 17 for 21 from the line, you know, you're looking at, okay, a final score is 75-69. I understand that. But the game would have been much closer, and Kansas might have had to actually make free throws. You know, it just – when you have those free throws and you make those free throws, it, it changes the – how you approach the game in different aspects of the game or different points in the game. Kansas was 9 of 11, 82%, only 33% from three-point range. But, um, you know – that, that really didn't matter. They shot 50% from the floor and um, they had 17 fouls. Texas or Texas Christian only had 12 fouls. But, you know, if you look at some of the numbers, you just kind of think, wow, why was this a 13 point win? It just really wasn't close. And, you know, near the end of the game, I think Kansas, Kansas started playing sloppy. And, but, you know, the game was in hand. So there was no need to worry about Texas Christian, you know, coming TCU coming back and, doing what they did at Texas. Plus, you know, they had to expend a lot of energy in that game. And, you know, Kansas was able to rest quite a few players. You know, David McCormick, he only played 10 minutes against West Virginia. So, you know, this is a perfect storm. Uh, perfect storm for Kansas, not a perfect storm for TCU. With Auburn losing today, I think this makes Kansas a, a number one seed. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I think they could lose the game tomorrow versus whoever they play. And I think they would still get a number one seed. They still have Baylor on the number one line. I don't know about that, but, you know, Arizona, they're missing a key player. So Gonzaga is definitely going to be a number one seed. Kansas will be a number one seed. If Arizona loses with Auburn losing, I guess I could see Baylor staying there. But, you know, do you bump Kentucky up? Um, I think it'd be kind of interesting. But I think Kansas is solidly there, but I'd like to hear what you have to think. So, Again, if you would, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, share this video with your friends out there. And until next time, Jayhawk fans, rock chalk.